Traveler, you have gazed upon my pages. I am knowledge. I am forbidden. The secrets I hold are beyond mortal understanding. How rude. I am a tome of infinite words, and you would just shut me mid-monologue. <laughs> what boldness possesses you? Why do you keep opening and closing me? My cover's shiny. Why would that... Oh, great trees. Deliver me from this hell. You seemed short, but I assumed it was just my pedestal. You aren't actually a goblin, are you? Eh, of course you are. Why would my first adventurer be anything normal? All right, buddy. We can have lots of fun, you and I. I can show you the secrets to getting lots of shiny things and tasty food. All you have to do is read my pages. You can't read. I can't work under conditions like this. The entire point of being hidden behind traps in a dungeon was to ensure clever adventurers were the only ones who gazed upon me. I'd be really grateful if you stopped closing me. My pages have to breathe. That's why I was on display pre-opened. Yes, I understand that my cover is shiny. It has a gold inlay. But I need you to focus for a few moments. Do you know anyone who can read? No! What do you mean, no? How can everyone you know be illiterate? How do any of you survive? With shiny things and good food. Well, I suppose I shouldn't have expected a complex answer from you. Tell me, do you get the food from other people? A wizard gives you cookies sometimes. Well, why don't we go talk to them? I'm sure a fellow magician will be smart enough to realize my value. I notice you haven't moved. I didn't think I'd have to explain this, but... Since the wizard is not here, and we are here, we need to go to wherever they are if we wish to talk to them. Okay, I'm glad you understand. So, since I don't have legs, I need you to pick me up and carry me to this wizard. Can you do that? No, of course the answer is no. And why, pray tell, are you incapable of transporting me? You don't know where the wizard lives. Okay, where do you normally meet them? The wizard comes to your warren. <sighs> Great. The thought of dealing with more goblins isn't the least bit annoying. Actually... I don't suppose I could convince you to just leave me here. I'm sure another adventurer will roll around given a century or so. Oh, you actually remember that. Well, uh, yes, I did say I could get you infinite shiny things if you read me. But, um, infinity is actually really small, and you don't want it. Shoot. It was worth a try, though. Tell you what, if you don't take me, then your hands will be free and you can loot the corpses around my pedestal. Just don't question why they're there. Glad we could come to a deal. Make sure to check the one to my left. I think she was a mage. She should probably have something of value on her. All done? Great. Well, that means you can head out. Don't let the spike pit get you on the way back. 
What was that? It almost sounded like you said your hands were still free. But that can't be right. One, there's no way your tiny goblin hands are holding all that loot and are still empty. And two, that would imply that you're trying to take me too. And as we stated, I'm off the menu. Hey, stop touching me! I don't want to go wherever you're headed! Put me down! This doesn't even make sense! I'm a magic book who could just be lying! Why would you leave all the real shinies behind for a chance at more shinies? You're taking all the shinies? That doesn't make sense. I'm the only thing you're holding. And I don't see a comically large knapsack on your back. You have a bag of holding. Oh, that's not good. I certainly hope you don't plan on putting me in there. Hey, stop! Bad Goblin, don't you dare- uh, Goblin, I will ask you one time. Have you been putting food into this bag of holding? I thought as much. Would you be surprised to find out that you failed to get it all out? Of course you are. Why would I expect any level of foresight from you? <sighs> so, this is your warren. How many other goblins camp here? And I'm sure they're all just as distractible as you. Great. Goblin, if you would be so kind as to... <sighs> Again? I thought we got past this. Ugh, I just... I can't even believe this is real. Was this punishment for killing all those knowledge seekers? Some people will deserve it. Don't console me. You're the problem. I don't even get the satisfaction of killing your cookie dealer. I'll have to wait for them to bring me to a more public area and then get lost. It's going to be a whole hassle, and it's all thanks to your gold lust. Yes, I promise not to kill the wizard. In fact, everyone can be happy with this arrangement. I get to be free of you, the wizard gets answers to various arcane questions, and I'm sure you can bargain for quite a few coins in exchange for me. If you keep all the goblins away from me, I'll even speak on your behalf to ensure the best deal. Don't mention it. Just make sure your friends don't spill stuff on me. How long until that wizard comes by, anyway? A week? Just close me. Get a good look at my cover. I don't even care. <sighs> Satisfied? Good. Now go away. I'll be here whenever the wizard comes. Yes, yes. Best wishes to you. Whatever else I need to tell you to get away. Have a pleasant evening. <laughs>